Hi guys, this is App and Rapper. I'm here with the Inner World. Um, I played it a while back, but I just finished the sequel, and I felt like starting this one over again to refresh my memory of it. Uh, so let's check it out. Enjoy. Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed, but the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Well, not like his own son, of course. to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I polish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, look what it can do. Conroy says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. But look here. I knitted it myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the basilian oh, turn uh, a stone, uh, it's your uh, own fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms. I'm only trying to help them. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Robert, my dear boy, play my song. <gasps> oh, Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. <laughs> No! No! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. I'll save your pendant. No, Robert, boy, stay here. Guard, bring me the hedgehog.
rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. He's digging into the sacred earth. Catch that worm. Okay, there we go. Slippery little... It's too fast. Lying here, I guess I can take it. Just oh, little... now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster, anyways. There's a little delay. Not a delay. It's just you have to watch the animation with the hand. I don't think there. It had that in the second game, so I was kind of surprised at this. Don't take down the posters. They search the girl. She looks rather nice. Hello. Can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. Well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Esposha. You sell stinking garbage? Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. Is that an A? This? Do you maybe want to buy a letter? You can have it for a few aspirity. Why would I need one of those? What's your name, kid? Robert. Well, if you'd have an A, you could make it Roberta, for example. Or Robert. The possibilities are endless. No thanks. I have a headache now. What's that? This? An exquisite sandwich. It has only been eaten twice before. Um, thanks. I'd rather not. You sure? I also have a half full root milkshake to offer with it. At least I'm pretty sure that it's a milkshake. No thanks. I've somehow lost my appetite. Who knows if I'll ever find it again? What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Great! That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few Aspororo, it's yours. aspo ra ro -ri. Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but <laughs> I really don't need that. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine. So be nice and wait in line. You get all that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for ESPs. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. 
And you are the most cunning, cold-hearted Asposhan I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. <laughs> It's been a while since I played this. Good stuff. It's filled with fermented not terrine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday, a year ago. I don't want any of those things. Damn, it's not movable. One can make good use of such shoots. Slippery little... Oh, it's too fast. Hey, the bag is empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Uh, I can keep the thread. No, the thread would just come undone. That won't work. That could be fun. Won't help, though. That's too high for me. Well, I could, but I won't. Oh, great! My own windsock. Wind socks are awesome. The lousy worm will just disappear in his hole again. It's too high. I won't get the fish that way. If I tie the end of the wind sock with thread, Worm would... It's too high. I won't get the fit. No, no. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. I won't leave without it. Hi, worm. You look thirsty. <coughs> Come here. The party's over. Could be fun. Won't help though. No, now is no time to fool around. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. shoot at first. Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Well, Worm, now you're free again. But I'll keep this cork. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Greasy. I can't grab it. I don't think that will work. I can't do that.
come here. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Put, put. I can't do that. Well, I could, but I won't. You don't do that to wormholes. I better keep that. That won't work. No, now is no time. That's... I have to catch that pigeon. I won't leave without it. Rather not. He looks like he's upset with me again. Hel ah, you again. What else do you want? You already took my self-esteem. Again? Concerning the garbage. Stop begging. I won't give you any more for free. Can you help me? I have to catch that pigeon. Sorry, kid. If I leave my spot, everyone will steal my garbage. But who would... I only see one potential suspect. How can I catch it? I have no idea. I'm selling garbage here, not answers. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Okay. If you need garbage sometime, you know where you can find me. You can't escape. Hey! <coughs> what do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? Whatever. Peck, come here. <laughs> Tell Conroy that from now on, the winds are about to change. Huh? It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Oh, no. He will kill me. I have to find that pigeon, and the girl too, especially the girl, if I only knew her name. Laura, wanted for theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, chewing gum in public, enraging the Brazilians. She has a beautiful smile. Voluntarily. Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh. Yes, at least you can rely on the Brazilians. You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. 
But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. This song, it reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold... Or the hunger, or the despair. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Oh, I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you, you're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? A onesie. You know, footed pajamas, made from strawberry yarn, for my baby to wear. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself, believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. <laughs> but isn't that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric. The fabric of nobles. The baby insists on it. Oh, yes. Of course. I guess then... You should start to look for it. Okay, then. A onesie made from strawberry yarn. What's the baby's name? Conroy. Oh, that's great. You named it after the abbot. You never know. Maybe that calms the Brazilians. I think the name suits him. Thanks. It's a girl. Can't you just point in the direction she went? If you can obtain a onesie for my baby, I will bring you there personally. Where did you learn the song you just sang? My mother taught it to me. Where did she learn it? From her mother. Ah. Where did she learn it? From her mother. I see. And where did she learn it? It was carried on the wind. Enough now. Can't it be any other material? If you want the poor thing to keep freezing, is that what you want? No. Then you better bring me the onesie. Does it really have to be made from organic strawberry yarn? Does it really have to be made from organic strawberry yarn? Excuse me? I apologize, but it's hard for me to understand you over the baby's shivering. I still couldn't find a onesie for the baby. What do you want, then? Well then, goodbye. Okay, if you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy playing through this again, because it's been a while, I don't remember all the puzzles. Uh, and the story, I remember generally but not in the details so anyway uh check it out if you haven't played it yet the inner world really really fantastic series uh play both games and if you enjoyed this please subscribe to my channel thanks bye bye <laughs>